Hey, hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and after almost two months of fantastic time in the Himalayan mountains, uh, Badrinath, the area of uh, Dharamsala, Manali, I'm back now in Delhi and this is my last day over here. As you can see, I'm all painted. <laughs> see, it's a line of red kumkum that goes all the way down here into my body and uh, this summarizes how I feel right now. I'm in a hotel room in Delhi as uh, you can imagine you know this is not like the most uh, you know typically enhancing or stimulating environment but I feel fully activated and this red line symbolizes that it's just a red line made of kumkum powder Normally you put it on your third eye on the chakras and right now it's the first time ever since I started using you know kumkum in my lab that I realized oh, okay this is a new activation or a new state of mind of how I feel right now. So there are a few things, a few important things about this. It is that um, the the Tantra tradition itself, you know, and by Tantra I mean the big Tantra, not just the sexual Tantra the way it is. Uh, interpreted in, a, in the West. The Big Tantra story is a story which is evolving every day. You don't need to stick to a specific tradition. You don't need to follow the rules of a certain ritual. Um, you can reinvent Tantra. You can practice it according to your own way of communicating with the Absolute, communicating with your body, with your mind, with energies. It means that there is enough space within the, the lineage of tantric energy to reinvent to reinvent the stream and of course you know some people might come to you and and say oh the way you are doing it is not correct you know according to the rishis and the swamis and the tantricas what you're doing now is unknown and therefore it doesn't work well guess what <laughs> uh, the divine the absolute the energies which are around you, the Kali power, or Shiva power that you're invoking, understands your intention. The spirit, the intelligent spirit of Kali or Shiva that flows through your whole being understands what you mean. This is not com about communicating with other human beings, this is about communicating with the invisible energy that surrounds you. And right now, when I do that, when I put these colors on my whole body, you know, and it could be a totally, of course, you know, something totally different, I feel activated. So who can tell me that it's not working? It is working. The moment you take an action, a ritualistic action, which is aimed at devotion, focused on the intention of unifying yourself with the absolute cosmic fire or invoking a specific god or goddess or energy in your being, well, that's it. It works. It works because the, the, the force or the energy you are communicating with is intelligent. It gets it. Remember that we are talking about forces or energies which, are, which we go way, way, way beyond human intelligence. We are going talking about, you know, cosmic, universal energy is life forces and those forces are intelligent, they are conscious, you can consciously invoke them and they can consciously uh, communicate with you, respond in the form of angelic response, in the form of spiritual response. So this is something to keep in mind, um, you're not doing this for other human beings. You are doing it to communicate with the absolute. It means that if you do, if you make a spelling mistake or if you reinvent something according to your own terms, uh, the stream responds. Stream responds. So don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody limit you within a limited box. You know, a limited tradition. The spirit of tantra is vaster than anything, anyone conceive way vaster it has no limits 
Why put it in the box and say, oh, this is counter, but this is not. No, it is unlimited. And uh, I mean, you probably know that already, but I want to reinforce this. This is, this is a powerful statement. It's a powerful perspective that I want you to consider. Therefore, if you, you know, wake up in the morning and you feel like painting your whole body in orange or singing a new mantra or doing some strange sounds or uh, jogging while repeating the name of Kali or um, it is vast, you don't have to limit yourself, you don't have to feel like you have to stick to a fixed discipline. It is powerful, vast, unlimited. This is, this is the message for today. Reinvent it. Reinvent it, actualize it for today. Actualize it to in your own terms and uh, design your own way of communicating with the Absolute, something that matches what you want and you need. And if you want to stick to a specific given ritual, a tradition that already exists, a specific mantra, that's all right. That's all right as well. But you can go beyond anything that was created before you. You had that power. You had the power to reinvent your own way of communicating with the Absolute. That's it. That's the message for today. Bliss to you from India. My last day over here today. Going back to Switzerland tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.